welcome to Lakeside Living. I'm Jody, and today I'm going to be showing you some things that I bought for fall to decorate my home. Some came from some shops in our, near our area, and the other items came from a local craft vendor. So, let's take a look at these items. Last weekend, I purchased two table or placemats here, and these are identical to. They have the identical truck that I have on my fireplace mantle that I decorate every season. So if you've been following my channel long enough, you'll have seen that truck. So I thought this worked really well, and so there's two, and they're 13 by 18. So I have three uh, tables that I decorate during the different seasons. So this is gonna be on one of them. And once I show you these items, uh, I'll just kind of give you a sneak peek of this stuff. And then after I start decorating, I will probably do a video and let you see what I've done and maybe give you some ideas for your own home. So that was the only item I purchased at Meijer. Uh, the next store that I went to was uh, Joanne Fabrics and they had 50% off of their place and time collection. And I did not have enough mugs for the, my table placements, so I got two of these. It says All the Cozy Vibes, and they were $9.99, but they were, I think, maybe 30% off. I'm not sure if everything was 50% off, but I thought they were really nice, and you know, we can use them as well. The next thing I got at Meyer were these natural palm leaf plates and they're very made very lightly I'm sure they will last I don't think I'll use them outdoors I'll probably use them indoors somewhere they come in a six piece set and there again it was place and time and it says here it was $9.99 but I know these were 50% off and they're like in a pack so if you store these properly you could use them year after year the next thing that I bought was this hello fall and it was $14.99, 50% off of that. And it's very heavy, heavy, it's made of wood. And this is kind of like a leather that's on there. So there again, I don't know that I want to set it outside on one of the, either the deck or the patio. I may leave it inside here in the home. And that's place and time. The next thing that I bought was at Joann's, and it's this gather bowl. Now I've got some ideas for this. Um, I'm not going to give that away to you quite yet but it says gather on, on both sides with a leaf. And originally that was $40. So this was, I think the most expensive item I bought, it was about $20, but it's solid wood. Thought that was very nice. The next thing I purchased was a piece of material and it's kind of shiny and it's just pumpkins. It was one yard of pumpkin material and it really, there's no, I haven't sewn on it. It's just a piece of one yard pumpkin material. It was very reasonable. I don't think I paid very much for it at all. And I'm going to use that some, somehow um, for a decor, decorative purpose coming up. So you'll have to stay tuned for that. Uh, the next items were all uh, that I just got home uh, from a local craft vendor. And she has had her store for several years. And due to the pandemic, and not being able to have our local covered bridge festival here in Indiana. Um, a lot of people are doing their own um, at their home or a, just a smaller group setting uh, for vendoring. And so we just got back and I wanted to show you some items from there. Uh, one of those items was this Fred Farm Fresh uh, hand, -picked, hand Picked Pumpkins Daily 100% Organic Little Sign. And that was only $2. So I thought that was cute to put somewhere. The next item that I bought was just this solid wood pumpkin. It's very heavy and very sturdy. Now there again, I wouldn't want to set it out if it got wet, but most of my porches are under cover. Uh, the front porch does get a little bit more wet than, than the others, so I'll probably put it either in the back somewhere on one of those porches or the patio. And that was $5. So there you go. The next 
go. And then the next thing I bought was this little egg basket kind of like thing. And I'm going to be doing, I've got a little idea of what I'm going to do with that. And it is uh, a metal basket and that was $8. This was probably the most expensive thing I bought was this farmhouse pillow. I've wanted a lot of farmhouse things and not sure where I'm going to put it yet. It's farmhouse on one side and then it's got stripes on the other. It's very soft and it, this was $20. And I think this is, you're able to take this off because there's buttons on the back so you'll be able to wash this cover so you can keep it, you know, for years to come. I thought that was cute. And then for being uh, one of 20, the first 20 people at the uh, local craft vendor's home or business, we got this bag. And what's so neat about it is she designed this, they said, years ago, this design. And it shows different cities around Indiana and when Indiana was established in 1825. I thought that was so awesome. And, you know, there again, it's washable. It's a great big bag. And all of my things, she put them in there. Um, it's real sentimental to me because there's all, like I said, all the cities are named and different, um, different things, rivers and different um, historical things here in Indiana. And my daughter also bought a few things and she got one, but hers, instead of blue, her image was green. So this was free just for what we bought this evening. So that's really all I have for, uh, so far for my fall decorating and like I said that was just a sneak peek of what I'm going to be doing so you'll have to stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so like this video and ring that notification bell I'll see you in the next one bye bye